then you have it there. Oh, I wanna fly, I wanna fly. And you have your hand there. <gasps> oh, you can fly, fly. So let's, um... <coughs> so let's... Lego Stop Motion Minecraft and more. It's Aircad 11. Hello everyone. It's game mode zero. Um, let me just. Well, sorry about that. I was uncreative before. Got some redstone over there. It's Circuit 11 here. And today I have something special. So, let's flip this lever. Ooh. And we have fly powder and elytra. I've always wanted to fly on Minecraft on survival. Well, now you can. You know, so we have this fly powder. You're supposed to just hold it. Just hold it. And you fly. I mean, look at me. I'm flying. I'm flying. I have my Elytra. And then, whoa, ow. I need to fly higher next time. <coughs> so the fly powder only works in this slot right here. When you have it there. Oh, I want to fly. I want to fly. And you have your hand there. <gasps> oh, you can fly, fly. So let's, um, <coughs> so let's pardon me, fly over and see how this works. So, I have this pool here for testing. It has housed some pretty insane crashes. Another thing, this thing only works when you're out of the water. And I currently am flying. Um, this is only available in 1.9 as well. So, I'll just swim up. Okay, is the Elytra... The Elytra is doing something, so stop holding the Elytra. Then I can swim all the way up. So hold the fly powder. Oh, and I fly out of a swimming pool. So the point of the elite elytra, elytra, something. The point of this is so that once I get high enough, I can just stop and fly down. So game mode one. Let's go into creative. This still works in creative, <coughs> as you saw there. Um, just activated something, and that gave me f flying. Uh, uh, levitation. Stop holding fly powder, you drop. So, let's get into how this works. Um, just put the fly powder in. <coughs> so, what you need to do, so, this is how you do it. Slash give, give your username a c o m m a n d underscore b l o c k command block for short once you have this command block you're going to need a redstone torch redstone dust um some comparators some okay some repeaters some comparators and that's what you're going to need now i'll just stop this one And then, um, so, I always like having grass block in my inventory. Let's head over here. Um, I'm just going to be copying and pasting the commands. So, set up, command block there, command block there. Got that? You place two command blocks down. On one of the command blocks on the back, place a redstone torch. Place a redstone repeater aiming towards that command block. And then place one next to the redstone torch aiming away. Place redstone dust and redstone dust. This will create a clock. Since since the redstone repeaters, um, it sends a signal into this block which powers off the redstone torch. As you see, as you see, when yeah. this one turns on, this turns off. Oh, it power it sends power into this block. So I can say say hi and it every time this runs this turns on it will say hi in this one if i say say bye it will say it because it sends power into this block but also that carries a block carries into this block and this block this block 
and it would carry into this block, but that block already has power. So, um, I don't want it constantly bugging up my thing by saying bye. Another thing you're going to want to do is slash game rule command block output false. You want that to be false. Otherwise, you will have a lot of command info spewing out. Um, let's go into here. A, control C. So, I will have these commands in the description below. <coughs> the first command is going to be the test for command. Um, slash test for ericid11 or your username. This only works on 1.9 due to the new potion effect levitation. So now I can have this in there and then it won't do anything except test for it. If it tests for true, this will be powered. So if it tests for fly powder in my inventory, this will be powered. As a demonstration, I will just grab my chest, <coughs> place it right here. I don't need that anymore. Let's take a piece of fly powder. Now that you see it's in my inventory, it lights up. It doesn't have to be in my hand. It can be in there. It still lights up. Oops. Um, if I throw it on the ground, it... Oh, man. Not again. Am I having command glitches again? It turns off. Did you see that? Yeah. Turned off. Turns off. If I pick it up, it turns on. I do have some glitches sometimes. So you're going to want to place a comparator here and here. Next, we'll fly over here, go to this command block. This is test for command 2, I guess. Weather clear. You know, I want to keep the weather clear forever. So for that, um, I need this to be a repeat. weather clear. It will always change the weather to clear. See? Changing weather to clear. So. I've got two command, test four commands, don't I? Um, <coughs> test four, air kid. This one is the select item slot. Okay? This one is inventory. This one starts with this one after test for air kid. It goes to inventory after the curly bracket. This one goes to um, test for air kid select item slot. So this one is inventory. This one is select item slot. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. It does not matter which order you put them in. Again, um, it could be any order. That's just the order I put them in. Next, so I'll just um, fill this up because I was talking while I did. So once you have your commands in and you have your comparators set, then you're going to place redstone dust and redstone dust. Destroy those two blocks. Place down redstone torches. Destroy these two blocks. Place down um, redstone dust. So what I have done um, is I have this. Fly powder. Fly, um, when this is active, the comparator is active. <coughs> which will turn one piece of redstone dust on. Which means that only one redstone torch is turned off. So it only works if both of these command blocks have test true. So uh, only one command block's off. If we only had one command block, then it would work like that. But just throw that on the ground, it turns back on. What this command block does Ooh, yeah. is it tests for its if it's in my active slot. So if so the slots this slot right here, the selected slot. This one is zero, this one is one, two, um, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So, it only tests for, it tests for, if the fly powder is in slot zero, so if glowstone dust is in slot zero, so let me see. And if that slot is active, then that works. Um, so, once both of them... See, you got that? So, 
once that one's on, this one turns off. When this one turns on, that one turns off. Um, if I just got some glow, oops, uh, glowstone dust, um, and I put the fly powder in the chest, it would only activate this one. And then, so if I hold glowstone dust, this one will be activated because it tests for glowstone dust, not fly powder. <coughs> but put both of them together, I think it's a pretty good chance that that's what you're going to have. <coughs> so, once I hold this, both of those turn off. Otherwise, one of them's on, and we don't, and we only want it to activate if both of those are off, which means that we're going to have to convert the power. So, gonna dig. Sorry, I am using a free program. Back to game. So, if you hold this, both of those turn off, which means that nothing will be activated since it's off. If you hold something else, it turns on. And this is, but you want both of these to be on when you do your test. And so I have it setting it like that, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to reverse it again. Um. Let's see. Um, if we destroy these, it won't work if you're if both of those would be on. But since it only travels one brick forward, um, you'd have to place a repeater. But then the repeater would make it so only if one of them is true, it activates. So you're gonna have to do this. This is the only way now. If you hold it, both of those are turned off. You place the redstone torch here. So now, when both of those are on, both of those are off, and this is on, which is good. Otherwise, one's on, or both are on, and it's going to not work. So, place dirt, no, place redstone dust there, place redstone dust up. Um, I have it so that it's only affecting, this only works on me. See, it's all about air kid. Yeah, me. Um, but you don't have to have it like that. Once you have it like this, <coughs> then, um, then you can place a command block. This one you're going to need to change from impulse to chain to repeat. Repeat and needs redstone. So it should turn purple. Right here it says needs redstone, which is very important. And then you're going to do effect your username levitation once you've got that then when both of those it works see you get levitation but there's one problem I still have levitation this does not have it with this does not have it with any parameters parameters are things that would limit it so I have levitation I'm going to have levitation until I drink milk. Actually, I'm going to have levitation until 30 seconds runs out. So I drink the milk, come back down. I'm going to have to change this. Zero and one. Um, no, this does not work. It says, could not take levitation from America. Let's change this to one and this to zero. Boom. There. It's constantly switching from one to zero, switch off, and then it goes, and I fall. Um, I'll try with a decimal, zero dot one. Doesn't work. Not a valid number. So, switch it to one, you fly like that. <coughs> so, <coughs> this clock is constantly running, since I have it in my inventory. Oops! Haha, -ha, they're totally off. Oh, they're both on. You got levitation. You can fly. <sighs> that is how you create flying powder on Minecraft. It doesn't activate quite instantly, as if you'll notice, I start holding it, then it has a little. So if you just switch off, switch on. And it doesn't stop instantly. Switch it off, switch it on. You can catch yourself in midair. Ouch. Sometimes. 
But there you have it. That is actually probably quicker than this one because this one, as you notice, has that. So, there you have it. Flying. You can use this for other things. Um, now, uh, you have that. You also have this. This I can change this a little probably. Slot 1. Um, slot 1. Now, if it's in slot 1, I fly. Right now it's right now I I like it set for slot 0, but I can always move it to slot 1 then you'd only fly if it's in that one. So, uh, I'm going to switch it back to 0. Um, and then so there you have it. That is how you fly in Minecraft. Um, and you can go game mode 0. Oh, right. It needs to be in slot 1. And you fly. That is how you do it. It works on survival. Um, one last thing. If you enter here and go true, then you can go back to survival. You just... It only shows levitation in here. It doesn't give you particle effects, and it doesn't show the little icon of levitation up here. So, that's actually even more sneaky. No one knows what's going on, except that you're holding fly powder. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later!